Okay. Um, today we got a Detroit 671 uh, end frame rebuilt. So right now we've already got uh, two, three, and five pistons with the sleeves installed. And we're about to install, I believe it is what, number four, David? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to install number four. Danny, if you'll take a look right here and show them where the crank is at. So right now the crank's in the uh, up position. That's where we want the uh, rod. Okay, Danny. That's where we want the rod to um, set down on first. As soon as the rod sets down on top of that crank, and then somebody will be up here holding the top of the piston, and David will rotate the engine so the crank will go down to the bottom so that allow David to put the uh, bearing on the uh, uh, bottom side of the rod and connect it. Right here is what we call the bearing. I mean, don't look like your typical bearing that you would see in something that's a round ball bearing, but this is a, a engine bearing for a uh, Detroit four se uh, 671. Now, these little cutouts right here, that has to go on the inboard side and the top has to be, there's another one on the top of the rod, on the rod that this connects to, it has to be on the same side too. If it's not on the same side, your engine will not turn over. It'll go half and turn and lock up. So uh, make sure that these are always facing the same direction, your rod and your uh, rod cap. Got to be both the same direction and a 671 is inboard side. So now we're gonna install this sleeve. I'm gonna get the number four cylinder. All right, David, hand me the number four cylinder. Okay, again, here is that little notch, okay? Notch goes on the inboard side. This is the inboard side right here where David's standing. And then the outboard would be to the outside of the boat. So inboard on the little notch. Very, very important. Very important to note that. Okay, so I'm gonna line this rod right up here within line. to get it lined up. Both of them came up. We hit the top of that crank there where we got. Give me that hammer, damn it. Make sure these bolts are, are in place. If not, it'll be fighting them down there. Alright, inboard side. Alright, go ahead. Rotate, David. Upward? Yeah. No more. Right there. Hold that. There it goes. Okay. All right. So that's uh, how you slide the sleeve in. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll take something and hold the piston down while David rotates it to the. Uh, Downside now I got to keep my feet on top of these Sleeves because as the ones are coming up they'll try and push the sleeves out. So go ahead and rotate David 
I'm gonna keep it on top of that can, that crank. A little more. About right there. Okay. All right. So that's how you properly install a sleeve with the loaded piston into a uh, Detroit 671. This is a uh, turbocharged, which unfortunately we had a uh, water line break on this one, and uh, it actually uh, got the engine hot and rent the head. So we went ahead and did a whole new rebuild on it while we got the head off. So. Uh, Detroit's are inexpensive. The rebuild kit on this is, you know, eighteen hundred, two thousand dollars, and uh, of course you got to have your head reworked. Hopefully it doesn't crack like ours was. So having the head reworked, uh, you're looking at about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. So um, by the time if you, you do it yourself, by the time you you get everything added up. Uh, you know, honestly, you've you've probably spent about thirty-five hundred to four thousand dollars versus um, you know spending twenty grand on it with uh, somebody taking it out and doing a complete rebuild. But uh, they're not difficult to do. So, all right, that's it. Thank you.